Hi Dresso Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Twilight Sparkle from my Little Pony Equestria Girls. So let's get started. To draw cute Twilight, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And come right next to it, say about this much, and draw another circle. Now that my circle's in, I'm going to make them draw so cute eyes. So let's put two small circles inside for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. Now that we have the eyes in, let's come to the sides right here and spruce them up with some lashes. So I'm going to come about right here and just pop out maybe just two lashes. Same thing on this other side. Just two curves that come out and thicken it up. From there, let's go ahead and give her a sweet smile. So right in between her eyes, about let's say about right here, let's go ahead and just draw a soft curve and slightly go upwards and cap it off. From there, let's go ahead and frame her face. So we're gonna to come to the sides of her eyes, at the top right here, and come about right here, really close to her lashes. I'm just gonna give myself a point, and same thing right here, just really close. And then we're going to basically draw the bottom of a U. So I'm just gonna bring this down, curve. And then I'm just gonna come down and find my center just to make it a little bit easier. So I'll say about right here, I'll give myself a point, and that's where I'm basically going to try to aim towards. So I'll make it a little bit pointier towards the chin area, and then same thing on this side. And connect. There. So I have framed her face in. Then we can finally just go up a little bit more right here and here as well. So just bring up and we're going to start to draw her bangs. So above this curve uh, line right here, I'm just going to basically curve across. So just a little wobble and then come down and across. So just going to create this little um, wave. And then from there, right over her eyes, I'm just going to draw some indication of a brow. Whatever space you have. There. And then from there, we're going to draw her bangs. So let's bring uh, this out a tiny bit more so we have room. We need to draw a strand of hair on the side of her face. So about here and here, just connect one strand and same thing over here. So let's bring this part out. So about right here, I'm going to come in, break it up and come out. I'm continuing this one strand. And then this part right here, I'm just going to come in From there, let's come to this corner right here and we're going to bring a curve up. So right here, just bring a curve up nice and high. Then from there, we're going to come back over here and I'm just going to bring this strand out just a little bit more. And then we're going to go up to create the top of her head. So I'm just going to give it a little curve right here just to give it some movement. And I'm just going to say about right here, nice and high. I'm just going to give myself a point right in the center. And then from there, I'm going to draw a curve that comes down and another curve that comes down to connect to this strand right here. And then this part is going to come out really close and down. So we're just creating this little dome on top for her bangs. From there, let's go ahead and come back right here and we're going to draw, uh, draw a curve coming down side of her hair and then same thing here. From there let's work on her body before we finish the rest of her hair. So I'm going to come right in the center, give her a little neck about here and I'm going to bring it out and bring it out. 
So just small little um, angle right there and then we're going to stop because she has these poofy sleeves. But before we draw the sleeves, let's come about right here and I'm going to draw a slight angle lying down so we know where her body is. And then I give her a little neckline right here. And then she has this bow. So I'm going to draw a loop of her bow and then, I mean the center of her bow and then the loops. on both sides there and then a collar she's gonna draw a curve right here then from there let's bring this down a little bit more and this little top that she has and then about right there I'm just gonna flare it out a little bit and then I'm going to come right here and connect it now that I'm pretty even connect it with a curve to about right here on the sides and then split it and connect again. So we have our little top and then before I forget, I'm gonna add two little dots right here for some detail. So then now that we have that, let's go ahead and draw her skirt. So I'm gonna come in about right here and poof out this skirt that she has. So about right here and let's bring it down. Nice and poofy. So let's say about right here. Then here, so I'm pretty even now. I'm going to go ahead and connect it with a curve, but um, it's not good. There's going to be two little pleats right here, so I'm going to come about right here and here and create a pleat. So I'm going to come down so I've created this little pleat right here with a little separation, these two lines, and come out and just. Remember, we're drawing a curve that goes across. So I'm gonna skip, go across, and I'll do the same thing here. So I'm just kind of imagining this curve. So that's where I'm stopping about right here. And another pleat, so about right here. And once again, connect. If you're using a pencil, just go ahead and draw a curve to connect first, and then add in these two pleats. Okay, so now that we have that, then we can go back in and we're just gonna draw a little line right here, just a little bit higher, slightly higher to create her skirt. Then from there, let's draw her legs. So I'm gonna have them nice and um, simple, just straight. So about right here and here, nice and centered and here. Let's work on this side first. Just gonna draw an angle down and another angle. And same thing here. So let's start. She has these uh, leg warmer uh, boot kind of thing going on, right? So I'm gonna cut it off right here and then I'm gonna wobble and curve out. Just wobble a little bit. And say about right here. Round it off and connect. And then let's come down again. We're just still imagining this is coming through. And we're gonna angle out a little bit and say about right here. I'll stop, bring this out, and poof it up, and curve right there. And then for her shoe, we're just gonna tuck it in right in this spot. Just curve, nice and simple, and then connect. There, just a little curve right there. And so let's do the same thing on this side. Just gonna curve, pop it out. And connect. And then once again, the bottom portion. Curve, and then her shoe. So her shoe kind of comes in a little bit. A little pigeon toed, right? To make it a little bit cuter. And connect. There. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's go ahead and we're going to draw her arms. So we're gonna poof this out for a little shoulder right here, sleeve. Poof it out and then about right here. Just gonna come in and then draw a little cuff right here for the sleeve. And then we're gonna have her hands come um, 
bent. So let's come here and here. We're just going to thicken them up and bring it in. Now to draw the other side, we're going to do the same thing, just a little puffy, puffy sleeve. And bring it in, little cuff. And then her hands are just going to be about right here. So I'm just going to bring them down, bend it a little bit and come in. And same thing here. It's a very thin arm, sorry. And we're just going to bring it in a little bit thinner. And about right here, we're going to come down at an angle. And then just pop out a little curve for a finger. There. And then now we can work on her hair. So let's bring it down to about right here. So I'm going to just bring it in a little bit. Curve it out. And about right here, we'll bring it in. And connect right here just to finish it off. And then so same thing here, but we're just going to give it some movement. I thought it would be really nice to give some movement to her hair. So let's come about right here if you want to do that. We're just going to curve it out. So imagine this is coming through and about right here. Pop back out. Split it a little bit and then we're just going to go ahead and connect. So that way it just gives her hair some movement. And then for some details up here, I went, feel like I went too high maybe, right? So let's bring this down a little bit. So always take a look later after you're done. Went too high up and just adjust it. Then from there, we're going to draw some strands. So um, just a line right here for some details. But then on this side, we're going to Draw some curves for those two colors in her hair. So I'll just split it right here. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> the two colors and then um, also here as well. So let's add a strand. Let's see, where is it going? Bring it in about right here. And one more. There. So now that we're done with her hair, let's draw some details right here. She has this little logo area. So let's come right here and we're going to draw this starburst right in here. And separated by that pleat. So she's going to draw the same thing on this side whatever space you have left. And let's see here, then there's maybe some points here as well. And two stars. And one more here. And that is pretty much it for my version of uh, Twilight Sparkle here from My Little Pony Equestria Girls. I really hope you love her just as much as all the other ones I've drawn so far. And if I helped you out today, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.